All right. The King's Avatar Season 2 finale. All right. I thought this would extend to another episode, but nope. End credits, end credits have proven that this is the final. This is the season two finale, right? So well, it's finally got the team together for training. Okay. Although yung dalawa, although the the two remaining who haven't uh, who haven't flown who haven't uh, flown in, uh, what you call this? They they they've also started their training online, right? So. Wow, you see, you see, you see their dorm. <laughs> you see in their dorm, it looks like it looks like a fucking mansion. <laughs> Mapera tong si ano? Mapera tong boss nila yung babae. Mapera to. All right, she is more than willing to um to to shell out to shell out that that much money, right? Just for her protein to uh, to be comfortable. To be comfortable with each other, all right, and of course to uh, giving giving Yeju the free hand to to run this team because he is the captain. Okay, he is the captain. He is the king. Okay, he is the king. But um, right now we we realize that um, even his uh, his former boss, the his the, the co-founder of Excellent Era. He even admitted that Yeju is the god of glory. So, um, final scene, they were they were texting each other and what? Well, basically, it ended with "see you in the challenge." All right. Overall, um, it's a um, a fairly decent episode. Okay. They did not. Um, well, you have to understand. It was only now that Yeju was able to to form his team and register for the challenge, which uh, I forgot. I forgot her name. Blech. I'm done with the King's Avatar season two, and I still do, didn't get the boss's name. But anyway, so nakapag register na sila for the challenge and training started almost immediately when when the core was able to fly in. Sila Lao Wei, si si Steam Bun, alright, at kaya isang babaeng. Tsaka yung sanilang babaeng ano, uh, team member. So, well, it's a fairly de decent episode, but... Uh, although it had, a, it had a reasonable ending because the producers and animators are probably reserving the main tournament for another season. Halata eh. It's obvious. And we, we all saw how excellent era went from went from went from this to this all right from the looks of from the looks of the uh, the chairman of excellent era yung co-founding partner dati ni ni Yeju, he look he he looks disgusted okay he he has that dejected look when when they were when him and Yeju were texting each other, so okay, it is a fairly decent episode, but they they probably should have done more. They probably should have done more. So the King's Avatar season two finale on the map. Okay. Why? Well. You have to understand, okay? Yeju is still in the team building phase of uh, his road back to the top. Okay. So the the producers, the animators, and even the author of the novel that this came from probably found it best to preserve preserve the preserve the real action for another season. It is a good setup for the next season. It also get this episode will also also guarantees uh, sort of sort of guarantees the fans that King's Avatar will be back, right? It will be back because we need we need to see the challenge phase, all right? Of how Team Happy is going to Team Happy is going to uh, how how they will uh, how how they will fare in the challenge phase, right? They're probably reserving that for. 
for an entirely new season for another for another season okay to be honest so yeah that's but if it, if i see that um this this wasn't a preparation phase for the next season i probably would have would have given it uh, a lower rating but i had to uh, I had to understand the story because it was only now that Yeshu was finally able to build his team. To build a, a, a team that will stand a chance at making the Pro Leagues. Right? A good mix of veterans and rookies. Okay. The only pro players there are him and Lao Wei. Okay. Those two are enough to guide the, uh, to guide the rest. I tell you. Those two are enough, right? Of course, Lawe being the captain of Blue Rain, being the former captain of Team Blue Rain, and with and Yejo is one of was one of his rookies during his final season with Glo with Blue Rain. So of course, Yejo eventually became the king of Glory, became the, became the king of this game. So again, the King's Avatar season two finale. Ang taba. Ang natala mong finale. Kasi wala nang teaser. Wala nang teaser for the next episode. <laughs> yung pinakita na yung logo na ano eh. Yung logo ng anime eh. That's how, that's how the finale ended. So, it's very obvious. It is very obvious that this is the season 2 finale. I'm very much looking forward to the next season. No matter how long it takes. Okay? This one took 2 years. Okay? Season 2 was 2 years in the making. And I, I'm proud. And what well, I think they, they did not, um, they did not push it to a later date. They did not even cancel it for this year. Talagang kung ano yatang sinabi nilang airing date. That's that's when it started airing. So I am looking forward to to this anime's uh, to, to this anime's new season. Although it, it hasn't been announced yet. It hasn't been announced yet, all right? If there's anybody who who would like to experience a non-Japanese anime, the King's Avatar should be your should be the one you should check out first, all right? It's it's quite re it's very relatable. Okay? It's one of the most relatable animes right now, uh, in at least at least in the past five years, right? At least in the past five years. Because everybody's into online gaming right now, and there are pro teams, right? If you're if you're an avid, if you're a hardcore online gamer, or if you are a pro online gamer, you will relate to this anime. Okay, you will relate to this anime. So I strongly recommend to those online gamers that you should watch the King's Avatar seasons one and two, right? And you probably get some tips on how to build your own pro team. Yeah, you can get some pointers here. Okay, I got some pointers. But actually, from a personal development uh, standpoint, this season two of this anime is a good lesson in team building, on how to um, how to uh, recruit people for the team you want to build. All right, this is a good lesson. Mind you, season two of the King's Avatar. So, thank you, King's Avatar, for delivering, delivering a good season, and for um, retired online gamers like me. Yeah. Thank you for um, making me remember of making me remember my past uh, as an as an online gamer. And well, I hope you would uh, you would inspire a new generation of online gamers. So, yeah, I am looking forward to Season 3 of The King's Avatar. Alright, I'm standing on 1 Million Lives Episode 10. I thought uh, from the start of this episode... Uh-oh. This might be a boring one, so I, I just simply brace myself for it, but... Mm. Right, the group has finally faced its 
the group is now up to its, it's now facing its greatest challenge actually, to stand the cold and traverse at least 5% of the map, of the map the game master has given them. And in the final scene, boom, Yotsuya dies. <laughs> now, ang tanong, the question now here is, will he respond in the next episode? Okay. Sila Shindo, si Yokitate, at si, si Yakuzaki, wala na. Hindi na gumagalaw yung tatlo. Alright? There, there's a good chance that they have died from the freezing cold. Si, si Yotsuya naman, may nakalaban pang parang monster na super laki. Yung isa ang mata, akala mo Bigfoot. Eh, medyo nakawa pa siya nung napatay niya. Yung pala, may, may anak. May tatlong, may tatlong anak pala. It must, it must view him as food. So, medyo na konsensya pa. But, wow, okay? It had a creepy ending. It had a very disturbing ending. Alright? Talagang, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I, uh, uh, my brain, my brain was literally telling me that. All right. Hi, Dave. Overall, okay. It is a um. Yeah, it's a good episode. Okay, it's a good episode. I thought that I was I was up I was up for a. Uh, I was up for a very boring one, okay? Kasi, nag, nagkanya, nagkanya-kanya na sila rito eh. Magkakanya-kanya na. Cavill is going back to, going back to her, to her hometown. Kasi nasamahan na niya yung apat eh. Nasamahan na niya. And, all, all, all the four has to do now is to complete, is to complete that stage of the quest. Uh, traverse at least 5% of the entire map. So, they went their separate ways, threaded different paths. Ayun nga, yung tatlo, <clears throat> yung tatlong babae, hindi na gumagalaw. Alright. And, wow, okay, with Yotsuya dying, their prospects aren't so good right now. Okay? This made it, this made it a very disturbing ending. Okay? That's why it's a, that's why it's a good, it turned out to be a good episode. It turned out to be a good episode. A really good one. Okay. A very disturbing one. Okay. So, I'm standing on 1 million lives episode 10. Two thumbs up. Okay. A unusually disturbing two thumbs up. Mantakin nyo. Alright. Mantakin nyo. The three female members of the, the three female leads, they're not moving at all. They either succumb to the cold or have just given up. Sa hirap. Right? Yotsi, on the other hand, hasn't given up actually. He, ha he, he had to kill a, he had to kill a huge he had to kill a monster twice his size because it's blocking his way. It was blocking his way. Nagkaroon pa, ng, nagkaroon pa ng moral dilemma. Yung napatay pala niya monster niya, eh, siguro magulang. Okay? Yung mabas yung tatlong anak, eh. Tatanong, Mano yung mapa, bakit? Gising ka. There was no time, there was no time to, there was no time to entertain a guilty conscience, so he has to move on. Ayun nga, naka, nakatapak yata ng bangin, nahulog. And before we knew it, his um, his login screen shh, ceased transmission. So, wow. Okay. If you don't find that creepy or dis or at least disturbing, I don't know what. Aho, I found it really disturbing. Okay. So I don't know what's going. We really don't know what's going to happen in the next episode because there was no teasers. So again, I'm standing on 1 million likes episode 10. 
Two thumbs up. Wow, you know what? Uh, this is it's it's shaping up to be. Uh, I think it's gearing up for a great finale, for a two-part finale. Because hindi nag teaser eh. Hindi siya nag teaser sa episode na to. There were no teasers. Okay? Just the end credits of just the end credits with the with the with the artist of the ED in it. Okay? Wow. You know what? I don't know about you, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm standing on one million lives is better than re-zero right now. Okay? It's better than re-zero. Kasi, talagang ano siya, it's not just an isekai anime. It's not just a game anime, but it's also a survival anime. Okay? It's, it's a survival anime. Wow. I don't know about you, but I am going to finish this anime, okay? I am going to finish this because I'm, uh, I'm now mentally preparing myself for, for at least a two-part finale. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 27, okay? <clears throat> The um, yeah, you can say it's uh, it would probably be the set probably now be the second half of uh, second half of the first season. Okay. Remember, okay, <clears throat> if you're still not familiar with how um, how Kona how Konami runs its animes, ganito yan. Let me let me let me put you up to speed. Ever since. That series ended. Tuloy tuloy siya. Okay. There is a there is a definite continuity within a Yu-Gi-Oh series. Okay. It does not take a long break, but more but half the time. Okay. Half the time. Tuloy tuloy lang yung papapalabas yung episodes. Okay. The most uh, the most the most break it'll tr probably take is uh, three weeks to four weeks. Yeah, some only a month right <clears throat> but it has but it has taken um, but a Yu-Gi-Oh series doesn't usually take a break when it comes to uh, when it comes to transitioning from one season from from its own from one of its own seasons to another dito sa sevens hindi pa tapos ang season 1 all right and mind you no Yu-Gi-Oh series ends a um, ends a season with less than uh, less than 40 episodes. I am very sure now that this will last 50 or more episodes. Etong season ng to. This this inaugural season of sevens. Kasi um, we're done with episodes 26, so that's the first half. Okay? That's an entirely um, different. Uh, what you call this? I wouldn't call it a different part. So, we're now in a different part of the show. Kumbaga, second half na na season one. So, more likely, it will, uh, season one will last 54 to 55 episodes. Okay, you know, that is my rough estimate. But anyway, Luke gets a new ace. Okay, its name, Fantastic Dra... Uh, Fantastic Dragon Mira Gears, right? Which he, which obviously he got from, from a simple hallucination. He gets depressed, tears running down his face, and he has the gall to ask what is this substance. Gusto ko lang, gusto ko lang okay? I felt like laughing, but I felt sorry for Luke at that moment. Then all of a sudden. He's doing it himself. And didn't you see, guys, okay? This monster has a strong resemblance to, to a classic monster from Arc 5. Dark Rebellion Ixis Dragon. It has a striking a, a striking assemblance striking resemblance to it. Alright? Let me show you. Now. Um, the monster I'm going to show you is a is also has a as a close resemblance to to Dark Rebellion, but 
It is the Supreme King version. Let me get it, okay? Let me get it. I'm actually think I'm actually thinking over really hard if I if I want to compete with this deck, okay? This is my Supreme King deck. I'm gonna show you. Yo. <clears throat> I don't have Dark Rebellion Ixis Dragon, okay? The classic one. But I have this. Alright. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show it to the Twitch audience. The the lean the lean frame <clears throat> and the and the head has a striking resemblance to this. This is the Supreme King version of Dark Rebellion Ixis Dragon. The classic one, yon. Yun ang nagpaalala sa akin. This is the Supreme King version. Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion is, is this card's name. Right? Fight service! <laughs> but, <clears throat> it also made reference to another anime this episode. Ever heard of Inazuma 11? The way, <laughs> the way Luke uh, made that soccer that made that made that soccer ball get it go into the goal. The ring of fire bang ganun. That's the end the Inazuma 11 reference. Okay? Reference for Inazuma 11 yun. After all, I think uh, I'm not sure but I am uh, I'm 50% sure that Inazuma 11 also came from Studio Bridge. Kasi uh, when I look at it, pareho medyo pareho ang animation niya. Medyo pareho ang animation style niya. Overall, um, <clears throat> for um, for an episode as silly as this, for a non-dual episode as silly as this, it's a really good one. Okay? It's a really good one. And the... Um, Konami has found a way to to introduce Luke's new ace, which would probably be, be which would probably be very crucial in later episodes. Kasi mukam mukam malakas to eh, mukam malakas ang monster nato compared to drag ears. So it's a good way to introduce uh, Luke's one of the lead characters' is new ace. So uh, a monster this strong, okay? A monster this strong. Uh, pace, flow, yeah. Uh, typical Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, typical Yu-Gi-Oh! So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 27. Two thumbs up. A, I will bring down this microphone so I can give the two thumbs up. Right? Ah, chaka, well... I am. Uh, I felt very happy that they that they that they were able to form this club. Okay. Because well, sa kanila apat talaga nagstart ng rush duel. Eh. Okay. It all started when Yuga invented the rush duel format. Then, um, Luke, Roman, and Gakoto helped him inst um, cheer him on, on installing it. Okay. Illegally installing it in Goha servers. Okay? Tandahan nyo. Illegal yung ginawa ni Yuga. Pero, to our surprise, okay? To our surprise, tinanggap ng system. Alright? The Goha uh, Goha Central Server accepted it. Okay? When it beat, when Yuga beat Otis. Okay? Blue eyes pa nga ginamit eh. <laughs> Sobra. OP eh. Blue eyes pa nga ginamit ni Otis nun. Malakas. Malakas na deck. So, yeah, to our surprise. But now, uh, as we see it, as we saw in the um, the first half of the episode, Neil was actually, was now defending Rush Duels. Okay, halata naman eh. Kasi, well, ayon niya talagang, he doesn't, want, he doesn't want to get on the bad side of the, um, the top of six. And, and, of, and of course, the, and of course, the chairman. Okay, nakakatakot ang itsure. You see that mask? Parang, ano eh, parang di gagawa talaga na mabuti. <laughs> He's up to no good with that mask. So, Neil was defending Ross Duels in this uh, in this episode. But, to no avail, 
the chairman instantly declared Ross Dewas as an enemy. So, I think they're, they're, they will now try their darndest to, to completely erase this format from their servers. Or, humiliate Yuga, the one who invented the format. They will, they, it's, uh, kung nyo yung, meet, yung meeting scene na yun, the chairman is now hell-bent on stopping Ross Duels at all costs. Okay? By the tone of his voice. And of course, the, the top of Hexagon will, will completely submit to his will. Okay? But, uh, nice try, Neil, but thank you for defending Ross Duels, okay? Thank you for realizing the worth of Ross Duels. But, of what? Di na, siyempre, hindi na makikinig sa kanya si, ano, yung chairman. Because, he is essentially fired from Goa by losing to Yuga. Okay? By losing to Yuga. He is virtually fired from the company. So, again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 27. Two thumbs up. Right? <clears throat> Two thumbs up. Uh, next episode. Hmm. Looks like they're going to focus on how uh, on how to promote the uh, the Rush Duel Club because the next duel. Well, I ain't gonna give you spoilers, but it is probably crucial to the existence of the new club. Okay, so toto lang tayo. All right. King's Raid Episode 10. We now know what Reheat's ulterior motive is. He wants to take over Orvelia. He's had this, uh, this plan of revenge on the, on the Orvelia nation for so long. It motivated him to, for, to form the Black Edge. You know, motivation niya. Of course, with, with his sister Rapine, and all right it is safe to assume now that this is a group held bent on revenge a, a group that is consumed by revenge all right and all this is happening remember all this is happening with the black with Orvelia and the black edge while castle and company are out there looking for the holy sword overall um, it's a decent episode. Okay, it's a decent episode. But, eto na pa ko eh. Why does it? Why does every time the story switches focus, switches fo focus back to the Black Edge, that the episode becomes uh, becomes just a decent one? Right now, uh, I'm I'm really not a fan of um, politics in anime. All right, in, uh, political political goings on in an anime, huh? not in real life politics. But um, I think it can. I think uh, politics can really make an anime boring. Right, that's just my opinion. Don't discount the fact that I just said that it is a good episode. Okay? All the politics right now that has been that has been going on inside Orvelia, unti unti nang mina manipulate ni Rihit yun and the Black Edge. Okay? Their strong, their desire for revenge is that strong. Okay, so, so as much as to um, put Rihit on the throne instead of the, the the usual lineage again it's a it's a decent episode okay it's a decent episode but i don't know um, they should have done more they should have done more so king's raid episode 10 okay naglalaro ang isip ko between At least a one thumb up and the dreaded one thumb down. 
in all the in all the reviews I have done since uh, July, since July, I haven't I haven't given uh, a, I haven't given an anime the one thumb down. That's my that is my lowest rating. But this episode almost gave almost um, forced my hand in giving that. Why? Because kung politika lang ang, kung politika or, or ulterior motives na ang pag-uusapan, why not make it so intriguing that people, that viewers will now, will now be stumped, okay? will now be stumped as to how, how Reheat will do this. Okay? How can he take away, take the throne away? For him to sit on. Okay? Yun, yun ang nalalabuan ako eh. Right? Orvelia has a definite, definite uh, royal lineage. Okay? She has already... Reheat and the Black Edge are being commanded now by the heir to the throne. Yung princesa. Okay? She's the head of the knights. Right? So how will you go about that when this princess has clean motives, okay? Has clean motives in the name of her father, the king. But, as you've seen in the episode, Rahid doesn't buy that. No, I don't know, but this episode has a somewhat negative connotation. All right? But, the, uh, the ulterior motives are now clear. This episode, um, this episode has clearly presented that. But they should have done more, right? After all, it's politics. Politics is never clean. Okay? Politics is never clean. And well, I don't know, but uh, the producers here are are trying to uh, what you call this? Trying to project the politics here as uh, uh, as clean. I don't know. Because Reheat is Reheat is out for revenge. The Black Edge is out for justice in their in their own minds. Right? So again, Keys Raid episode 10. Now, the next episode has been teasered. Hmm. Castle and Company. Ito mas, ito lang mas sabi ko. Looks like they're they got their work cut out for them. Right? Yun lang muna. So, no spoilers, mga kalifestyle, alright? No spoilers. Yasuhime episode 10. Well, Setsuna is slowly getting her memories back, although it's not complete and she's having a hard time processing it all. So it's a challenge for both Toa and Moroka. But eventually, they were able to um, solve their demon problem in this episode. But uh, with a high price. Both demons died. Overall, it's a really good episode because of its moral story. Uh, it's, 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 for, uh, it's for saving rivalries. So eventually, I gave it this rating. Warlords of Sigurd Riva, Episode 9. What a way for this anime to come back from showing a recap episode. Everybody came back home successful from their respective missions. And well, Azu and, and her team came back with a uh, startling revelation. Overall, it's a really good episode. So, I gave it this rating. Jujutsu Kaisen Episode 10 The evil Jujutsu Sorcerer has shown its power to uh, to, uh, to Shade's guy 
And Shades guy has had enough because he's going to work overtime and he hates it. <laughs> Overall, it's a really good episode, right? Why? Because, of course, well, Itadori provided the comic relief again. But you got to understand, he is still in hiding. No one should know that he's still alive. So, because of that and the, the fight scenes here, I give it this rating. Attack on Titan Final Season, Episode 1. Okay, it's about time we, well, analyze the hype, at least in the pilot. I've already seen a few episodes of the first three seasons and, of course, Chronicle, but why was the pilot like that? Set, well, set it to modern times? Uh, yeah, but there, there are Titans and familiar ones, all right? Overall, yeah, it's a great episode. Right, so but not enough to convince me, so I gave it just this rating. More heard of the Patriot episode nine. God damn it, it's a wow. <clears throat> Holmes finally solves, uh. Solves the frame, solves the screw job that uh, that some guy put upon him. Well, we all know it's Moriarty, all right. So he ends up clearing his name, and well, but the main perpetrators are the loose. Although, although the real killer has been found, I don't know where this uh, where this uh, where this rivalry is gonna go, gonna take us to, all right. But it is so exciting. So overall, it is a fucking good episode. Right? It's a fucking good episode. That's why, well, I ended up with this rating. Ikebukuro Westgate Park episode 10. Wow, this, ex uh, this episode showed us how restorative justice is being served in Japan. It's starting to become a trend there. So I thought someone's going to get killed here. <laughs> but nope. Uh, the, um, the assailant and the victim both sat down on the table and talked things over. And uh, eventually... The victim forgave the assailant, right? For yeah, 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 for busting his knee and not getting, not giving him a career. All right. Overall, it's a really good episode. Another moral lesson to be learned here, courtesy of this anime. So, I give the this rating. Noblesse episode 10. Wow, okay. Frankenstein goes berserk, sanctioned by, of course, Rizel. And Sarah is forced to return to Lokidonia by a contract. That sucks. And now they're packing their bags to follow Sarah. Mm. Looks like Rizel's going. Why is this coming back home? Overall, it's a really good episode. Right? Action pack sequences. So, I gave it this rating. Akudama Drive episode 10. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. If this doesn't satisfy your blood loss, I don't know what will. Imagine, doctor taking nearly six people hostage all by herself, even hoodlum. Right, well, eventually, she and hoodlum die in, in the most gruesome manner. All right. Well, cool you're an ordinary person along with sister, and they hop onto the Shinkansen, hoping to rescue brother. 
overall, it's a fucking good episode. All right. So, I gave it this rating. Hikurashi 2020 episode 11. Well, all I can say is Sato's entire class finally uh, stood up and did something about uh, her situation. Well, in the end, they got nothing. But they, they're not giving up. But the final scene, um, that intrigued me. Bakit, bakit Pinocos yung yung police detective right where is that police detective going to okay so yeah that left me clueless all right that left me clueless and wow okay litik pa lang magalit tong si Sean talaga i was shocked all right when she actually hit KG with that chair on the head okay he she gave KG a headshot with a chair That girl is probably watching too much WWE. At ginawa, at ginawa niyang, ginawa niyang test subject si KG. Alright. Are these kids that violent? My God. Alright. So, um, overall, overall, it's a really good episode. Okay. Um, I never thought uh, this this anime would, would, would take a socially conscious turn. Okay? Kasi, domestic abuse is real. Right? We all know that. And, well, Higurashi 2020 just reminded me of that. Okay? It's up to uh, the victim's immediate friends and family who, who, who live outside of that house to, to do something. Right? Now, Satoko's entire... All her classmates, including including her five friends, okay, si KG and company. Talagang, they decided to help her out. All of them, including their class advisor. Okay. So, what you call this? The episode went stand up and deliver. Okay. You you guys, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, anyone anyone still remember that movie, Stand and Deliver? Remind, this reminds me of that movie. Okay. And, wow! In true Hinamizawa spirit, they they went to child welfare services. Talaga, sinabi nila kung ano ang nangyayari kay Sato outside of the house. And those classmates living near her, sinabi talaga nila na her uncle is her uncle is her uncle's a deadbeat, basically. He's a piece of shit. Uh, in a child in a child's way. They, they describe how how Satoko how Sato was being treated inside her house inside her uncle's, her uncle's house <clears throat> it's a really good episode okay <clears throat> a socially conscious one at that but the creepiness there were signs of creepiness again okay did you see that look on Rika's face okay sabi niya this is the sign of fate tearing uh, uh uh, on how to tear how to tear fate apart she has that look on her face of room. sinister that sinister look wow so Higurashi 2020 episode 11 two thumbs up alright two thumbs up I say well um the series has uh, taken a the stream of consciousness turn, right? But did not abandon completely the uh, the cringiness, that the cringiness that the original was known for, right? Um, <clears throat> this part, this episode, if not the entire mini art, it's in. It's a reminder that well, domestic abuse is real. No one, I mean, no one should ignore it. If we keep on ignoring it, someone may end up dead. 
I, someone may end up dead. So again, Higurashi 2020 episode 11. Two thumbs up. Right? Two thumbs up. I cannot wait for the next episode. This, this mini arc may may end there. So um so all this thing. The arc has a separate title, but I'm going to call it Satoko's arc because it is it revolves around her particularly. By the time you see this uh, this outro, I've already uh, done with this latest uh, episode reviews digest, and I've had a lot of misjudgments uh, on my Twitch stream this past week but I was able to I was able to rectify that during the, the third long stream I did last Friday and I don't know how many I lost count actually as to how many mistakes I did on my stream last week If you if you guys also follow me on Twitch, you know that I stream there three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But uh, this particular Friday was um, somewhat bizarre. I don't know. Um, I usually accomplish a 24-hour stream without a hitch. Although audio, despite well, I've only had audio problems during that long a stream. But here. Um, the problems would carry over today or tonight while I was editing this video, editing this uh, digest, to be specific, uh, to be to be exact. I remember that when I turn on the Bluetooth speaker, no sound is going to be recorded on either on camera or on stream or while streaming. The latter happened, right? It was only that I uh, I only found I only found that out this afternoon. I checked uh, the videos of the of the uh, of all all the reviews I did uh, yesterday because today today is a Saturday, right? Yesterday was a Friday, so I was supposed to do a 24 hour stream, but due to um, Uh, due to my lapse in judgment, it became three long streams. Yep. I did three long streams yesterday. So, as a result, the stream, uh, the reviews for Moriarty, Akudama Drive, um, Noblesse and IWGP all had no sound and I recorded that on my laptop camera But I'm, I'm very glad I I recorded the Higurashi review right here on my phone. So But there is also something bizarre to There's a bizarre misconnection between my phone and my Bluetooth speaker somehow My Bluetooth speaker could not pick up this phone And it should Because the Bluetooth here is more uh, is more advanced than the Bluetooth there on my speaker. Hmm. Right. I find that bizarre. How about you guys? How about you, Maka Lifestyle? But anyway, Wednesday stream. Yeah, that's my fault. I tried to experiment. I put my lav mic here. I clipped it here on uh, in my sleeve. So that's how, so the resulting sound was garbage, okay? garbled, okay? garbled is garbage. So I was forced to, I was forced to dub them all. I was forced to dub some, some, some reviews from the Wednesday stream and nearly all, uh, nearly all reviews of the Friday stream, of the Friday streams. So anyway, thank you, Maka Lifestyle, for 
sticking it up with me for another with for this particular digest and you know dubbing is wow quite a lifesaver i'm sure oh uh i pray that you would uh still be behind me on this journey as i uh well promote my passions my interests and of course the brand i am uh the brand I am pushing out there. Okay. I am an otaku, but I can also provide branding advice. I'm sure most of you know that by now. So again, thank you for watching this entire episode of Use Digest up to this point, and I'll see you in the next one.